Lucy, NASA's latest space probe, is on her way to Jupiter to study two Trojan asteroid clusters. Scientists think there's primordial material present from the solar system's outer planet formation. Lucy was packed inside a special cargo capsule as she lifted off from Cape Canaveral in Florida early this morning. She'll study the asteroids over 12 years, sending back data on their present configuration and maybe will yield clues on planet formation from 4.5 billion years ago, potentially dropping hints about organic life on Earth. A microscope that Charles Darwin gave his son Leonard, and which remained in the family for nearly 200 years, is headed for auction in December. The microscope was designed in 1825 and is one of six surviving microscopes associated with the British naturalist. That's according to Christie's Auction House. While its time coincides with when Darwin was studying tiny organisms, its legacy ties to Darwin adds depth to its value and how Darwin's activities shaped even the learning of his family. McDonald's is going to be testing a new burger called McPlant in some parts of the country. It's a meatless, plant-based item the company says was created as part of its partnership with Beyond Meat, a company that produces meat substitutes. Beginning November 3rd, customers at certain McDonald's outlets in Texas, Iowa, Louisiana, and California will be able to order the McPlant burger for a limited time. McDonald's says the patty's ingredients include peas, rice, and potatoes. It also comes with mayonnaise and a slice of American cheese and will be cooked on the same grills as its beef patties. The fast food giant says the limited test run will help the chain assess the impact of introducing a plant-based burger to its restaurants. 31 turtles saved from animal traffickers released back into the wild in Colombia. 42 adult green sea turtles were seized by army officials earlier in the day in a rural area in the country's northern state. 11 of the turtles died due to mistreatment by traffickers. Those remaining were examined by veterinarians and returned to the Colombian Caribbean. Five people were arrested for animal trafficking in connection with the incident. The World Wildlife Fund says almost all sea turtles are considered endangered, with three of them classified as critically endangered. AMC Theaters says it will now have open captioning during select showings. Captioning will be available at 240 AMC theaters in more than 100 U.S. markets. The move comes right as Eternals, a new Disney superhero release, will hit in AMC theaters in November. It stars deaf actress Lauren Ridloff. Ridloff has criticized the movie industry for lack of open captioning access for the hearing impaired. AMC says it wants to be more welcoming for the hearing impaired with open captioning and for non-native English speakers. There you go. Five things to know before you go to bed.